think 20 Somethings TV is a show that's very directed towards 20 something so I guess if you are a 20 something you should watch 20 somethings TV. There's a lot of variety and so it's not just the same people over and over again it's everyone making their own segments. You have your main studio segments where we talk a lot about current topics we have game segments we have music guests for those more interested in music we even have our out of studio segments, testing life hacks, tricking rams, rowdy round table. If I could describe 20 somethings in one word, fun. I would say fun, yeah. It's pretty fun. Like I'm not even like a film major or minor, and I just like I like to do it because it's really fun. It's a train wreck sometimes. It also goes very smoothly sometimes, which is kinda odd. Sometimes, you know, like it's like a real pain in the ass just to get a microphone on you but then you talk for 20 minutes and there's no problems, the camera works pretty well, the editing comes out cool. If I can describe our show in one word, I can do two words. I'd say controlled chaos. Every day something goes wrong, but like we find a way to fix it, like the TV just wasn't working today, camera broke, wires go missing, mic check always takes an hour. Uh, if I had to describe 20 somethings in a word, um, this would better be a word that I could use to describe the minds behind it. It's just talented. There's a lot of talent in 20-somethings TV. There's a lot of raw talent, you know, just in all aspects of production. This class isn't study, study, test, study, study, test. It's really, really hands-on. Everything that you do in the class is production. You're there, you're doing something, and everything you do you know has a purpose. And as a film student, that is really what I'm looking for in, in the film department in general. If you wanted to do directing, you could do that. If you wanted to do camera, you can do that. If you wanted to be part of the writing of the show, you can do that. It's really cool to be able to do like a bunch of different things, but still make one product at the end. Not only is it the prep work, like we have to find things to talk about that are relevant, that are new, that are current, that people know what's going on. We also have to make sure that like when we're in the studio, Everything is set up, you know, we have to have people go in before the class starts to run the cameras. We have to have people go in to make sure that the sound's working and that, like, the studio looks the way that it looks and the green screen's not up and the 20-something borders and, the you know, all the decor is put in. You got to do a lot of stuff and you really have to learn how to grind and learn how to do a lot of work in a short period of time. and it allows you to practice doing that. It's like we only have a week to do every single segment. So you just learn how to do all that kind of stuff and you learn how, depending on what role you are, how to use the cameras, how to set up the lighting, how to use the switcher, how to direct, how to be the producer for a TV show like this where there's a show every single week. There's a lot of time commitment and there's a lot of work to be done and it puts everybody to the test. There are so many chances to try different aspects of film that you probably wouldn't have tried in other classes. Definitely when someone's like, taking the director role and you kind of want to try that, you have the chance here because there's in-class segments and out-of-class segments. So my out of studio segment I do with two other girls. Uh, we do YouTube challenges. We did like the Chubby Bunny challenge. We did um, Tin Can challenge. We did a snowman building challenge. And this past one we did, we did the Whisper challenge. So my drone stuff is like super freelance. I had some stuff that I already shot at like other times. And then I went out and did specific shoots um, like with the drone. Shoots 4K, I uh, thought I had to put that in there. Shoots 4K, I have a drone, shoots 4K. Um, I'm hiring for a freelance, I have a business card if I need to give it to you. Whenever I kind of have free time or whenever like the lighting's cool that day, I'll go out, I'll pick a random spot. Like one day I did the beach, I do golf courses, I do anything that kind of looks, um, you know, larger than life that you can shoot with the drone like that. It looks pretty cool. Plus, like I said, it, the the camera on it, it's, it's, it's incredible, so. People make fun of me for it, but so it shoots 4K. It shoots 4K. <laughs> shoots 4K. Shoots 4K. You know how many Ks it shoots for? <laughs> My out of set studio segment is the life hack segment. Uh, we, well, the hosts uh, try life hacks or things that are supposed to make your life easier, so you don't have to. Well, me and a couple other students from 20-somethings TV are uh, working on our outside segment called the Rowdy Roundtable, inspired by YouTube channels that are just sort of like a like a party gaming kind of setting, where it's just uh, it's it's gameplay and it's fun times and it's crazy editing and it's it's a lot of fun. It's like we play a game, but we're like funny at the same time, and it's edited in a way to where it's comedically timed and all that fun stuff. It's it's debatable whether it's actually funny, but uh, I think it is. We do a show kind of weekly. We originally named it uh, Risky Rams, but it's kind of transitioned through that time because 
It's not just about us asking random questions to people. We've done a bunch of different stuff. I think our biggest was the Klondike bar video. We actually bought two 12 packs of Klondike bars and gave them around campus. We went around the quad on a beautiful, nice 72 degree weather. Beautiful blue sky, clouds in the air. And we asked people what they would do for Klondike bar. So tons of people actually did things like leapfrog, doing twerking on the quad. It's really funny and really fun the entire time. What's going on everybody? It's your man, Dimitri. You already know what it is. If you're not subscribed to 20-somethings, you got to, like, no more questions asked. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever the hell else is going on right now. We need your support and it's a fun show. So come out and show us uh, the support that we need. Share with your friend and tell that friend to share with another friend. And then, like, next thing you know, everyone's sharing with their friends. And then it gets back to you and you're like, bro, I already shared this with someone. So make sure you do that. I'm out. Name three things you would shave. Uh, my beard. Okay. Uh, my that's chest. it. Ah, that's it. <laughs> so, he was getting there. All right, ready? So I'm going to in your pants. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just took the shirt out of the package today. So. Everyone admired John's dongle. Ooh, wow. the dongle. The donkey dongle. Is that like a USB dongle? Yeah. His Ooh. dongle. Yeah. Ooh. How good it feel right now? Stay away. I'm gonna buy like. He a looks beautiful. I feel beautiful. <laughs> he did. He beautiful. Oh my! You don't like Forrest Gump? No. I was just talking about that today. Why? I don't think we could talk about it. We don't have. Oh no, time. we can. You won't nearly <laughs> offend, offend as many people as me. You ready? Or Forrest Gump? Or for why you don't? Why, why we'll do talk you like Forrest Gump? <laughs> Our viewers would probably love to hear it. Sure. Our five viewers. Right. Just be, just do whatever you do. Just pretend this isn't here. Just progress with your life. <laughs> Can I just be pretending to yell? Thanks, yeah. <laughs> that is that is on video. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right. It's a film we worked on last semester. Is it the storm? It is. All right, cool. It is the storm. It's the storm, baby. What? The storm. the storm was on the episode? Are you kidding me? My better, my movie better Why be in I this costume. Why did I not cost. get the storm? <laughs> oh, that is the greatest thing. I've ever I would seen. have had a good synopsis for that movie. What? <laughs> no, a. How's that shape? Good. It's, it's, it's dinner. It's great to have dinner at uh, 8:30 at night. Keith. Don't interrupt my interview right now. <laughs> Keith, see what you're doing. 